Hey divas, and welcome to the blog. Ladies, in today's video, you are going to see how I use items to repurpose my living room. Now guys, like I said, a lot of things I didn't change, but there are some things I did change. Hang around and take a look at it. Now you can see, I repurposed my coffee table. Guys, you remember me using some of these items in Table Skate Tuesday, but the items, some of the items that I did use in Table Skate Tuesday came from my living room. You search your home for items that you can use and replace if you choose to. So what I did, those oversized candelabras, I decided to add them on my coffee table and not place them back on an end table that I had in my living room. The bouquet was perfect, just perfect for my living room. So I placed the bouquet on my living room coffee table, but I did use my thumb for a book and I use this beautiful white and crystal pumpkin. Can you see it, guys? Isn't that fabulous? And guys, you know what I love? Remember I showed you these beautiful candle holders in a hall? Well, I decided to use them in my living room on this coffee table today. Everything is just popping and gleaming on this table, guys. Yep. So there's a look at the coffee table. And then if we spin over this way, this is one of my favorite little table, guys. It is made out of cloth with a huge pool drawer. And what I did, I just used some white and orange florals and that white vase that I received years ago from Pottery Barn, some crystal candle holders and some small candle holders with those beautiful burnt orange candles. And then guys, back here, to block off the entryway to my formal living room, I brought in those gorgeous white trees with the white vase. Yep. Now guys, the next thing we can examine for the fun of it is my couch. Remember these pillows? I kept them in the living room because they were so pretty. But I did implement my beautiful pumpkin pillow right there from Pottery Barn. And I had these pillows upstairs, the covers rather, these kind of like cream and white and burnt orange pillow covers. So I placed them on the couch. Right here, guys, there is another pumpkin pillow. And if you go around, you'll just see a variety of orange and cream and white pillows, guys. And that's the couch. Let me back up, sorry for the poor lighting. Let me back up so you can get a better view. I did change something out. The oversized swing arm lamp, I tried to brighten up this room, so I placed it behind the couch. <laughs> And right here, guys, the artist table, I actually bought three. <laughs> I originally had one, but after I showed it to you guys, I was like, I love that. So I went back to Hobby Lobby and bought the last two. And as you can see, I put the pumpkin, the oversized pearl pumpkin, back in my living room. And right here on this little ottoman, I just placed the pumpkin. And then if you turn over here, here is the other white tree. Yep, so you can see how I repurpose items throughout my home, guys. Now the light is gonna be bad right here because it's getting ready to get, I guess, dust outside, but still, you might be able to get a pretty good view. But right here, I just love this, guys, when I created that. And right here, you notice, these are the pieces that I thought was so fabulous. So what I did, guys, I decided to bring them in here and put them on this beautiful end table that I have in my living room. And that's kind of it, guys. That is kind of it. So everything else remained the same. I did some moving some things around, but I think I did pretty good on the look. Like I said, I apologize for the poor lighting, but my husband and I are working on getting some type of a lighting in the ceiling so it can brighten this room up so you guys can really enjoy the purity of this room. So guys, I thank you so much for stopping by. May God bless you and keep you. And until I see you again, be blessed. One more thing, don't forget, or don't please don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Deuces. Bye.